Hello, Igniters. My name is Mikhail Pachatkin, and I am an open source enthusiast employed by the Unison Technologies company. Today, I will tell you about the distribution model that the Ignite community released in Apache Ignite 3 Beta 1. In addition, I will talk about the transition to a new build system and about the benefits that the new system provides. Also, I will demonstrate how to use the new distribution methods to install and deploy an Ignite cluster. So, to begin, I would like to inform you that as part of the release of Apache Ignite 3 Beta 1, we switched to a new build system. Great. At the moment, we are in the migration process and so have no completely left mallet. But very soon the transition process will be complete and Gradle will become the only build system for Apache Ignite 3. Already, the assembly of new distributions is implemented only via Gradle and all new functionality will be supported only by the Gradle build. In summary, I can say that Maven is deprecated in Ignite 3. Now, a few words on why we made such a transition. First, as has been said many times, Apache Ignite 3 is a new product and should use modern solutions, which Gradle is. Also, Gradle help us to write clear and reusable code and avoid our legacy, which partition migrated from Apache Ignite 2. Now, let's talk about the new distributions and installation process of Apache Ignite 3. You will see how much more comfortable the UX has become. Previously, to start the new Ignite node, uh, you need first to install the Ignite CVI. When? Using ever a local or remote Maven repository, you need to deploy the Ignite cluster. And you need to execute some follow commands from Ignite CVI. This old approach has problems. First, obviously, it can't be used in a production deployment because nobody wants unneeded tools in their production environment. Also, the old approach does not respect the native use of the operation system and many other things. So let me show you how to get an Ignite cluster up and running in no time. Now I will show you how with the new distributions you can deploy a working Ignite cluster. Let's start the demo. Let's start with the basic installation procedure. We will use an RPM package to install the Ignite free service on our Hat based Linux machine. First, let's download the RPM package. So, I already did this download. You can find the package links in the download section of the Apache Ignite free website. When we install the package, after we install the package, we have a local service that we can start with a service manager such as systemd. Before we start the service, you can configure properties in the configuration file. The properties configuration file is located in the ATC Ignite FreeDB folder. Var and files. Let's change some default settings. For example, we can set a new unique node name. Great. Now let's run our node. For this task, we execute the command system CTL start Ignite Free DB. As we see, the service with our nodes has successfully started. Great! Now let's do the same on the second machine. So let's begin by changing the configuration file so that it's attached to our first node. But before that, we also will change the node name. We'll set it to demo node 2. So let's begin by changing the Ignite node name and Ignite configuration file so that is attached to our first node. Here, where we specify the address of our Ignite nodes, we specify the address of the first node. Great! So, 
Let's start the second node. And we can check the status of our second node. Also, we have here the Ignite Free CLI RPM package. Let's install this. Great. Currently, we have an Ignite Free command in our path and we can execute it. So, as you can see, Ignite is trying to connect to default localhost node. Let's try this. Cool. We connected to localhost node. This is demo node 2. Let's check the cluster topology to verify that our nodes are connected. Great, now our nodes are connected. We will also add a third node, but we will install it via a zip distribution. First, we must download the zip archive that contains a patch free. However, I already downloaded the file, which is all available on the Apache Ignite free website. When the zip file is unpacked, we have everything we need to start the node. Great! After unpack, we have uh, two folders with Ignite Free CLI and Ignite Free DB. Let's start with Ignite Free DB first. We change the bootstrap configuration file inside Ignite Free DB folder. So this is located in etc folder inside of Ignite Free folder and Let's change it as previous. And we write our first and second nodes into the configuration file so that all three nodes can connect. Okay, let's add first one node. and second one. Let's start the last one node by ignite3db.sh script. Great, we created three nodes and connected them by using new distributions. Now let's finally start our cluster. For this task we need our Ignite CLI. Let's open it in our Ignite Free CLI folder. And again we can connect to our default node, which are based on lock and host. Great. Let's check the topology of our cluster. Great, we have three nodes in our physical topology. Let's check the cluster status. We can see that currently our cluster is not initialized and have three nodes. Now let's execute the cluster initialization command. For this task, we set the name of our cluster as demo cluster and set our first node as meta storage. Great, we have initialized our cluster and we can now run a few SQL queries to test it. For example, let's create a table and put something into it. Let's create the person table with three columns, ID, name and salary. Great, we have created table. So let's insert same data to our new table.
great, insert successfully. Let's select all information from our new person table and we can see that insert was successful. Let's also try the same from our second node. Let's open Apache Ignite Free CLI again and also open SQL REPL mod. Let's select the information from person table. And we can see that already after completion trying to help us to select the person table. Great! We can see all information from person table. Super! Everything works! Now let's talk about some of the disadvantages of new distribution. At the moment, as you may have noticed, that distribution using RPM package, we cannot run multiple nodes on the same machine because of restrictions of services. However, this limitation is temporary and we will work on it. And even now you can deploy an entire Apache Ignite free cluster on your machine, thanks to Docker. We have made a ready to use Docker file with a ready made Ignite node inside. You can build the image locally and easily test Apache Ignite free. To do this, you just need to run Gradle task, Gradle view Docker. Let's look at the result of this task. I also want to note that we tried to reduce the size of the Docker image as much as possible. For this, we additionally use a G-Link during the image build to get rid of all unused Java modules. Great! The build was successful! So, I can show you that my current local images have Apache Ignite, Ignite Free, Docker image. Moreover, our team created a Docker Compose file for you with a ready made cluster of free nodes. Let me show you how, with a single command, you can do everything that I did in this demo. So, let's execute Docker Compose app minus D command and check the result. Great! As you can see, all containers are started. Let's check our containers. Great, we have a free nodes which you can use locally to test Apache Ignite free. So, that's all. I hope you enjoyed and appreciate the new ways to install Apache Ignite free that I have shown you. Also, you are welcome to share your feedback and wishes. We, the Apache Ignite community, are always open to suggestions. Thank you very much and goodbye.